Hi girls! How you doing? It's Jennifer again, as if you didn't know. A few of you following this blog do, and hopefully I'll get a lot more in the future. I am very excited today because I realized that I am learning to cook. This is a miracle. It's a big miracle. I mean, it doesn't sound like much, but a lot of people, especially genetic girls, you know, they cook. My dad, such as he is, he cooks. Or at least he did. Who knows what he does now? I don't really care. But I never cooked before. I made crap. Boiled macaroni and cheese, spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti. Spaghetti. But that doesn't happen anymore. Now I'm making all sorts of things. I'm trying things with mushrooms. I'm trying things with peppers, with cilantro. I never even knew what masala was until yesterday. And I produced an amazing dish with chickpeas and just all sorts of things. I had to replace things in the recipe. I didn't know I could do that. I really didn't. And to do it and not burn anything and not make a gigantic mess and remember it all and do it in a reasonable amount of time and then eat a dinner that had, get this, a salad and dates for dessert. I ate seedless dates. Unbelievable. It's like actual food and it's all healthy and I made it. When did this happen? I mean, this is even more amazing than being happy in my day-to-day -day life. It's just being, I don't know, not normal. I'm not, hi, Mary. But uh, it's not normal. It's real. Yeah, that's the word, real, an everyday thing, becoming like a, you know, becoming a woman, which is what, excuse me for a second, out, 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 I've been trying for, you know, and it's in all sorts of things like that. It's been simple things like, uh, like learning makeup, which is actually a lot more complex, or realizing that I almost have a cup size, well, an A cup, but it's growing, realizing that, you know, I, like, I'm actually using bras correctly, realizing that... I can have a fashion sense, and no, one, and that's it's totally allowable. And I think you know, just just doing the eyebrows and the hair, and keeping my place neat. I mean, this is all things that, for whatever reasons, weren't happening that much during my boy days, and now it's so easy. It's like all the missing things are back. And when I say back, I guess I mean past life stuff because I didn't have it in this life. I didn't have much of anything in this life until I really started doing it. Until I started transitioning to becoming who I am. I've been talking a lot with my grandmother. And it's nice to make peace with her and to really have some support. And she's honest with me. She doesn't really condone what I'm doing or understand it but she's supporting me because she can tell I'm not doing anything else. She asked again today, are you sure about this? And it's funny how, how positive I am on it. You can go and ask me any day of the week and I'll tell you the same thing. My life is better as a woman. And it doesn't make it easier by a long shot. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't, girls, it doesn't solve any problems. It doesn't um, make life, make your life at all easier, like I said earlier. Ghost cat. Or, dyslexia makes me look in the wrong direction. Mary, get down. See, there's a problem not solved by being a transgender. Dyslexia. But anyways, it really doesn't solve anything. It, you could argue that it, add, that it just adds problems and problems and problems. 
adjustments, but ultimately you have one big change. Your soul and your body finally match. And that is worth almost any price. You know, it is worth any price. I can't imagine anything that I could give that I wouldn't. I'd say including my life. I could die as a woman and I would die a minute afterwards. I think I'd take it. I, I at least I think I would. I'm not asking the magic genie to appear and like put me on the spot right now. That's just my cat meowing if you can hear it. But it's neat how once you do this, it just things fit, like the cooking and the other things I've mentioned. Things just start to fit. And now I'm living a life that I'm proud of. You know, I'm a person. And you can be so sure of yourself. You know, today when I went shopping, and I do that too, I shop alone without fear, sometimes nervousness, because I still have some agoraphobia, and I'm still bipolar, and all the other bullshit, excuse me, all the other bullshit that, oh crap, um, ignore that, and all the other um, crap that, um, that you go through, that I go through with my what problems I have are fading and I went shopping and I was on the bus and despite being aggravated and a little scared I did a, I had an amazing experience everyone said hello miss everyone said ah, well can I can I help you miss and what in what some people called me young lady and some people called said uh, you know, it's a fruit stand, so they said, here, try a piece of pineapple, young lady, young woman, miss. It's a real sign of the changes that I've gone through in the last six months. And it has been six months since I started this. Three months on the hormones, six months. It's a happy time and a scary time. And ladies, no matter what happens, no matter how scared you get, it's worth it. Don't give up. For one thing, you might learn to cook. All right, that's all. I'll see you later. Bye.